YouTube, team keep it clean. You know something that's crazy? Is that it's a real possibility that this football season, we may never see a backfield that features all three, uh, Justice Hill, J.K. Dobbins, and Gus Edwards at the same time. That's a real possibility. And the reason I say that is because of the way that things have went. Obviously, all three of these running backs missed uh, the entire 2021 season with their injuries. Uh, Justice Hill, he was the first one to play. And honestly, I, I was very surprised that Justice Hill had made the roster because he wasn't somebody that I had making the roster. But it proved to be a really good decision by the Baltimore Ravens, and he showed why he deserved the spot. Um, so Justice Hill, he made the team, and he played well when he did play. When he got his opportunities, uh, he made some nice plays. Uh, so then when J.K. Dobbins, when he came back, then that's when Justice Hill, he ended up getting hurt. Uh, and in the background, Gus Edwards, he had never got put on the roster because he was still dealing with his injury. Uh, but he should be activated really any day now. Uh, I know the deadline is the 26th of this month. Um, so it's just a, just a matter of time uh, with Gus Edwards. But uh, with J.K. Dobbins, this is, a, um, this is a big blow for J.K. Dobbins. This, uh, the way that this season has been for him, I, I know it's got to be frustrating. It's got to be frustrating. Just the way it started, um, especially with the whole, because uh, if, you, if you're going back and forth, and I know nobody likes when people talk about them and nobody likes when they feel like it's min misinformation that's being put out there about them. I completely understand. So when J.K. Dobbins, when Ian Rappaport put that report out that, oh, J.K. Dobbins probably going to start the season on the pup list. Uh, he's in danger of missing week one. And J.K. Dobbins was like, no. He's like, no, that's wrong. Da -da -da -da, going back and forth with Ian Rappaport. Um, and then he did not start on the pup list, but he did miss week one and he missed week two. I forget exactly if it was week three or week four where he came back, but he did end up finally coming back. Um, when he came back, he had limited carries, even though he had looked pretty good when he first did come back, but he still had limited carries. Then he was frustrated about that. I know everybody saw the, the tweets that he was liking and stuff like that. And then he expressed, uh, and I appreciated that a lot. He expressed his frustration with not getting more carries uh, in a, a media interview that he did. So I'm like, all right, JK, appreciate that. Appreciate you sticking to your word uh, and actually letting it be known, not just through likes, but through his actual word that he was frustrated with the amount of carries that he was getting. He wanted more. Um, but anyway, but to go from all of that, especially when you do, you do so much to come back. And obviously, his, his, his teammates know. Justice Hill knows what it takes. Gus Edwards knows what it takes. They know the struggle. They know the grind. They know the pain of going through season-ending injuries and finally being back. And Gus Edwards is close. He's not there yet, but he's close. But he is practicing, so he's pretty much there, but not all the way. And I think he, when he's all the way will be when, he, in, when he's in his first game. Um, but anyway, it's got to be painful to now know, oh, man. Now I got to have a surgery. Now I got to be out for an extended period of time after all of that. But let's read the report straight from Adam Schefter. It says Ravens standout running back J.K. Dobbins is expected to undergo arthroscopic knee surgery next week that will sideline him from four to six weeks per sources. Um, and that's a big blow right there for the Ravens, for J.K. Dobbins. That, that's huge. And in my opinion, though, I, I think that this report is I think that the time frame is going to be a little bit different because this report says four to six weeks. But in my opinion, I think it will really be um, six to eight weeks. Reason I say that is because of the, the way that the Ravens have been moving, the way that the Ravens have been in the, the way that the Ravens move with J.K. Dobbins specifically. Because if you recall, J.K. Dobbins, he didn't start on PUP. Like we talked about earlier, he did not start on a physically unable to perform list. He was on the active roster. J.K. Dobbins had been practicing in everything. But the Ravens said, nope, hold up, no, mm -mm. you're not playing yet. You're not playing yet. Following week, J.K. Dobbins practicing everything. Ravens said, no, you're not playing yet. Uh-uh, we don't feel comfortable. Nope, not ready. Nope, we'll let you know. And then when they finally did play him, they had him on the pitch count. And then they played him again, and they still had him on the pitch count. Again, even though he looked good, they were like, no, yeah, uh -uh, nope, pitch count. 
So the Ravens were extra, extra, extra cautious when it came to J.K. Dobbins. I have every reason to believe that after his surgery, that they will be extra, 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 extra cautious with J.K. Dobbins upon his return. If he does return. Because uh, it's a possibility that, again, hopefully it doesn't end up being the case, but we'll see. But if he does return, I'm thinking instead of this four to six weeks, more like six to eight weeks. And it says that he's expected to go undergo the surgery next week. So going into week eight. Um, so if he's out for six to eight weeks, then that will put him right at the end of the season. So I, he, he'll pretty much be ready for playoffs. And that's another thing, too. Remember, uh, now, hopefully Ravens do make the playoffs. I think that they will. But that's another thing, too. When he was ready this year, they had him practice for a couple of weeks. So if we're going next, next week when he's supposed to have the surgery, it's going to be week eight. And this says he's going to be out four to six weeks. But again, I think it's going to be six to eight weeks. I'll take the over. I'll take the eight. Uh, so that will put him at about week 16. And then they, ha they have him practice probably, probably for a couple of weeks before they throw him out there on the field. Yeah, I, I would think that it will be for the playoffs that J.K. Dobbins will come back. For but that's just me. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I just I don't see the Ravens, it, even, if it's, even if it ends up being four weeks, then I think they'll max it out to like six or seven. They're not going to rush him back. There's no way that they rush him back. And even when he's cleared, they're going to take some extra time to really, really uh, clear him. Um, but I, I wonder what was it? Did he get another injury on that Giants and Jets field? I didn't even think about that till just now. Um, but either way, man, that's tough blow. Uh, wish this could be some different kind of more positive news. Uh, but unfortunately it's not, it's not. Um, Ravens are in a good position right now to withstand this blow, though. They're in a real good position. The uh, reason I say that is because the timing. Again, Justice Hill was up first. Then J.K. Dobbins came back. Then Justice Hill went out. Now, J.K. Dobbins going out. Justice Hill coming back. So they have Justice Hill. And Justice Hill is, he has been, uh, besides the Ken Drake game from the Giants the other day, Justice Hill has probably been the Ravens' best running back this year. Besides that Giants game, he's been their best running back when he's played. Um, and he is, it's no coincidence because he's the one that's most familiar with this system. Uh, now, it seems like Ken Drake, especially after last week, he's getting more com comfortable with the system and more familiar with it. So that's another plus. And then on top of that, you still got Mike Davis. I know you ain't used Mike Davis anymore ever since that Dolphins game. Ever since the Dolphins game, Ravens ain't touched Mike Davis as a running back. He's been out there a couple times, but teams look, they see 28, and say, oh, they're they not, they not running the ball. they passing. So that's kind of like a giveaway now. When you see 28 out on the field, it's, it's not going to be a run. It's going to be a pass. But anyway, they still do have Mike Davis. But then in addition to him, you have Gus Edwards, who's getting ready to return any second now. Again, it could even be today. I'm recording this. It's 3.38 p.m. right now. If it's going to be today, We'll know by 4 p.m. But, um, yeah, man, Ravens are, they they in a pretty good position to, to deal with this. And then, of course, you still got Tyler Beatty on the practice squad as well. You still got him there. Uh, Nate McCrary, do they still have him? I'm not 100% sure. But either way, Ravens, they, they, they got backups and reinforcements and whatnot. They got depth to deal uh, with this blow. Still a big blow because, again, He's somebody else that's super comfortable in your system, and you always, especially at the running back position, which we learned the hard way. Last year, boy, that taught me a lesson. That taught me a big lesson when it came to the Ravens' run game, when it came to Lamar Jackson, when it came to Greg Roman, because I was thinking, and I've, I said it so many times, it is well documented or well videoed or whatever you want to call it. I said it so many times. Hey, the Ravens got, the Ravens are the Ravens first and foremost, but they got Lamar Jackson, they got a Greg Roman. It don't matter who you put back there. Anybody can have success back there. It does not matter. But, oh, no. <laughs> it matters. It, it definitely matters. And we saw that last year. Tried to put Le'Veon Bell back there. Ooh. Tried to put Devontae Freeman back there early on. And it, it took some time. It got better. But it was still. Uh. 
Even Latavius Murray, it, it took a little while. It was a little shaky all throughout the season. But yeah, overall, nah, it just it wasn't the same. And then Tyson Williams. But anyway, so yeah. Um, shout out to JK. Uh, hopefully he can play this year. But again, you know, Ravens, they they're gonna be super, super patient uh and cautious with him uh with his injury. So unfortunately. Um, like J.K. Dobbins is for another chunk period of time, we out.